Hey guys, Athena here, your favorite permanent jewelry trainer, and we are going to chat about what you need to bring for your pop-ups and events. So, we have a list of supplies that you can in events. So, read below about, and we also have links to those supplies, like the Jackery, and we'll get a little bit more into detail in the next video. So, before we move forward, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're clicking the links below so that you can get the best supplies on the market that are personally vetted by me and my training staff at Flash and Fuse. And let me know if we missed anything. I don't think we did. We're pretty professional over here and we've been doing this for a little over a year now, probably a year and a half at this point. But yeah, so watch this next video and we'll see what you need to bring. Whether it be a big tank, little tank, you don't know. Keep watching. Let's talk about pop-ups. So what you wanna make sure you're asking when you are signing up for a pop-up or a vending event is one, how much does the event cost? You need to factor in how many bracelets you can do or anklets or necklaces within the hour time frame that the pop-up or the vending event is. So starting out, I would suggest that you calculate about four per hour because you're gonna need that extra time. If someone wants to add a connector, if someone wants to add a double bracelet, you're gonna to need to factor that time in. It's gonna take you about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, as you get faster and more skilled, you're probably gonna do about a bracelet every five to six minutes, and I'm not even kidding. Um, so you're gonna be able to factor that in a little bit later, probably closer to around six months to a year. So set that as your goal, to do a bracelet in every six minutes uh, as you take your time into the business, okay? So another thing you're gonna wanna ask for your pop-up in your vending events is if there is a power source. If there's not a power source, you need to make sure if you don't want to limit yourself, you have something like this. Now this is the Jackery. It is a 300 model. It is linked in my bio on Instagram. It is linked below for you to purchase. And it is amazing. You can plug in your Orion Impulse machine. It lasts me eight plus hours when I'm doing bracelets constantly every five to six minutes. I can also charge my phone. <laughs> And I can charge pretty much anything I need from this location. So having this is like a portable uh, power source that I don't need to wait or pay extra for at these vending events. And it is amazing. So I plug my machine right into here. I turn this button on and my machine will last me more than eight hours. I know I'm at 24% now, but really I usually use about 30% when I'm 100% charged through an eight hour event. And I am constantly doing bracelets. So if you need to invest in anything else other than a course, it is the Jackery. You can go anywhere with your permanent jewelry business. Another thing you're gonna need is the display. You wanna make sure that you have a very nice display for your clients to pick and choose. I wrap a little bit of chain on each one so they can just take it out, they can try it on. It's very nice for them to see how the chains look and it's very clean for you to use as well. And then I also have these tiny little displays for my charms and connectors. So this is amazing to have for your clients to see what they're getting into. You can also write the price on the back. So connectors like this for me would be about $30 because it's a true stone, it's a smoky quartz, and it's 14K, 14K bezel set. And yeah, so then that's an amazing thing to have. And you also want to make sure you have a pricing list, which this is provided for you in the marketing section. So you have all of this information here. I encourage you to do your market research, which I can show you how to do. If you wanna message me privately, we can do a little market research for your area, or you can just use my prices here. I fluctuate my prices and I put a little plus on there because gold prices will change as the market shifts. So sometimes gold fluctuates a little bit higher and it fluctuates a little bit lower. Another thing that I wanna make sure that you guys have is the display for your solid gold chains. So I have solid gold and I also have gold filled and silver. So I have a lower price point and I have a high price point. You never know what your client is gonna want until you start talking to them. So you wanna give them options and having options is the best way to go when starting your permanent jewelry business. And then of course, you're gonna have your Orion Impulse, your auto dimmer, your precision pliers, right? 
extra pliers so that you can close and open your jump rings. And then of course, you're gonna have your argon tank. And that's what you're gonna need for a pop-up.